Hi, today I will explain the second part of the quantum sampling. Uh, from the last video, we noticed that measurements of quantum sample may change the remaining state in the quantum population. Uh, so it is hard to formulate the post measurement remaining uh, state. Also, we have question about how to estimate the unsampled state by the measurement output of the sample. Let's take a look at the detail in the following uh, slides. We picked the M number of samples and measured them. The M number of sample is a small portion of the population. Uh, by sampling, we wanted to estimate the characteristic of whole population. In order to estimate the sample, uh, we should measure them to get uh, measurement outcomes. But in quantum sampling, there is a question how do the measurements change the n unsampled state in the population? We are sure that measurement makes the state collapse, collapse to some form. A quick answer is that measurements make, make the n number of unsampled state collapse to the superposition of a nice state. What is a nice state? Nice state is a quantum state that sampling always works, uh, meaning that the measurement result from the small sample can estimate the behavior of this nice state. In our example, we, we have the uh, sample's noise rate, uh, which is cert certainly similar to noise rate of the n number of unsampled, unsampled nice states. After Sampling and measurement, the n number of unsampled state collapse to the quantum state that holds the superposition of a nice state. Uh, today, I briefly explain the second part of quantum sampling, how the sampling and measurement change the unsampled uh, state, uh, which is different from classical sampling. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless you.